27 storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. There it is, our first frost advisory of fall 2023. The first one in 2022 came a little bit sooner than this towards the end of September, but the last one uh, was around August or October 14th rather. So, uh, you know, it's kind of around that time of year. Again, last year we were a little bit cooler sooner, but that just goes to show you that now we're beginning to usher in that colder, more fall like year. Really crazy to believe that just a few days ago, we were welcoming in October in the 80s, and now we're talking about 20s for overnight lows, frost advisories uh, across parts of not only Wisconsin, but also Iowa and Minnesota as well. It's all thanks to this low pressure system. That center is beginning to retrograde or move backwards, and in doing so, those northwesterly winds are continuing to pull down this cooler air that's been sitting off towards the Hudson Bay. So that's the reason why we have this frost advisory this evening, not to mention you're seeing that kind of drier air moving on in as well. So we're not going to have that blanket of cloud cover to trap in what little heat we did see today. 50 in Juneau, 54 in Fond du Lac, everybody else kind of hanging out right around 52, 53 degrees, a little bit warmer from Lone Rock stretching back south and west into Prairie du Chien. Again, without the cloud cover tonight, we are going to slip into those upper 20s to mid 30s tonight. Don't be surprised if you're waking up to some patchy frost. Now would be the time to cover up any plants or at the very least move them inside if you want to avoid any sort of vegetation damage. Let's walk through future track into your Monday. Again, mostly clear to partly cloudy to start, and then we're going to become more mostly clear to clear as we go further into your Monday night. By Monday morning, we're waking up on the quiet side. Give those kids a jacket as they're heading off to school, maybe breaking out that thick winter jacket for the morning hours, not only Monday, but also into Tuesday as well. We're still going to be rather cold as we go overnight, despite the fact that a little bit more cloud cover is going to move on in you're noticing that that low pressure system continues to kind of linger across the Midwest. And in doing so, it's actually going to kind of sandwich another low pressure system to our south, keeping it right at, at least for now, the perfect distance to our south where we're really going to benefit uh, from some of this rain. You're seeing a lot of purples, dark reds, and even some of those lighter reds to oranges indicating that uh, estimate of two and higher inches of rain falling over a couple of days. This is all not going to fall at once, but look at how far north these even light blues about an inch of rain is is falling across parts of Wisconsin. So this is really going to help our dry conditions even further before we really kind of solidify the ground as temperatures continue to cool overnight. So not only tonight, but also Monday night and Tuesday night, we're hanging out in those thirties. That new low comes on in and raises our temperatures. So uh, by about Wednesday night, we should be warm enough that we don't necessarily have to worry about frost, but you may just want to keep the plants inside here for the next couple of days and then push them back out if you want. As you'll see, overnight lows are going to be back above freezing once we get through Monday and Tuesday. We're looking at 50s tomorrow, mostly clear to partly sunny with again that patchy frost. There's a look at that seven day forecast. We're going to go back into those 40s and 50s for overnight lows starting Wednesday night. We got an isolated rain chance on Monday, but again, uh, I think the best chance is really going to be starting later Wednesday, continuing through Thursday and then continuing through Saturday as well. So it is going to be a bit of a an interesting week, to say the least. It sounds like it. We were talking about cardigans yesterday. It sounds like we're going to have to start talking about parkas when I heard some 20s. Fall fashion. I'm here for it. <laughs> Let's break out the flannels. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Badgers got big contributions this weekend from a local Wisconsin product.